environmental and energy research integrates different disciplines affecting one another. The energy of the sun is the source of all life on Earth. Behind me is basically state-of-the-art in photovoltaic technology. It consists of a large array of lenses that magnify the sun's rays 500 times. Now, imagine a whole field of these. That's enough power for a whole power plant. If we do this right, then our grandchildren will find it very hard to believe that there was once a time when we generated electricity from anything other than solar energy. All of the departments work together with the aim of advancing a common goal of developing alternative energies, a deep knowledge of the ecosystem, and improving the welfare of those living in arid environments. What concerns us is the question of how to develop living environments for people in ways that can be sustained over time. What we have here is a set of extremely low energy solutions that are integrated in the architectural design of the building. We have a passive evaporative downdraft cool tower. We have a shaded courtyard, which turns into a solar atrium in winter. So we're keeping the building warm when it's cold outside. We're keeping the building cool when it's hot outside. We're creating a microclimate, which allows people to be comfortable without using scarce resources. The process of desertification is a process that threatens ecological systems around the world. The spread of this phenomenon obligates us to find new ways to deal with the problem. For several years now we've been studying the migration of birds through the desert and we've been very interested in how they feed along the way. That gives us a picture of what organisms do in the desert. And we know now that they rely much on their breast muscle protein to rebuild their guts. And then, as soon as their guts are rebuilt, they can go and feed and build everything back up again. That takes three or four days. Understanding animals in the desert will probably lead us to understand ourselves a bit better and what we should be doing to save water and energy. The non-conventional approach to research, as a discipline that tries to see the big picture made up from a variety of topics, has made the Jacob Blaustein Institutes for Desert Research one of the leading institutes in the world. We also transmit our knowledge to the outer world, and we do this through a special school, the Albert Katz International School for Desert Studies, which brings together students from all over the world. Once they finish the study, they return to their countries of origin and take with them back the knowledge they have gained here and are able to apply their results to their areas in order to improve the livelihood of those who live in usually poverty-stricken areas of the world. A combination of research interests in one place, in the heart of the Negev, leads to interesting, new, and groundbreaking approaches that concern all of us everywhere because we live in one world.